so I've been making some videos about consultation, which is a beautiful way of interacting with others and solving problems that's described in the Baha'i writings. And in my last video, I shared with you a couple quotations about how we can think of consultation as spiritual conference in the attitude and atmosphere of love. And then we talked about some of the qualities that are needed to really consult with other people. And, um, you know, today I wanted to tell you a quote about how important it also is in consultation to be honest and truthful, because I was thinking about how, you know, if you look at some of these quotations only from one limited perspective, it might sound to you like consultation is just about being nicey nice to each other and not offending each other. And it's actually about something so much more deep. It's about having a love and fellowship that is strong enough and deep enough that people feel not only uh, safe to be honest with each other, but encouraged to be honest with each other. So it's like when we're effectively putting these principles in action, people will feel uh, comfortable and, and welcome to share. And if you think about it, if we don't have an a, a environment that where people feel safe to share their truth and to share what they really see and what they really experienced, it's gonna be really difficult to come up with solutions that are actually useful and that are based on justice and that are based on the truth. So the quotation I wanted to share with you today is from Abdul Baha and it's that it says we must take counsel together in such wise that no occasion for ill feeling or discord may arise. This can be attained when every member expresseth with absolute freedom his own opinion and setteth forth his argument. Should anyone oppose he must on no account feel hurt, for not until matters are fully discussed can the right way be revealed. So it's encouraging us to really share our full view, you know, not to hold back from each other. I mean, maybe it encourages us to be um, thoughtful about how we express it maybe at times, but you know, there's times we're filled with emotion or something awful has happened and we need to express it fully. And it, it might come out in a way that's not, you know, um, kind of massaged in a way to be easy to hear. And we have to have space for that too, right? So these are some of the things that we're learning about. There's another wonderful quotation that talks about how the shining spark of truth can only come forth after two um, kind of differing opinions collide together. So it's, it's not saying we have to all think alike right off the bat or that we should hide it if we feel differently. It's saying we need those ideas to come together so that we can find that shining spark of truth. So again, this is just a couple thoughts um, about consultation, which you can find a lot more in the Baha'i writings about. And I wanted to share this too, which is that, you know, most of us, when we read these, these quotations, we think, well, that sounds awesome, but how would I ever live up to those qualities? Or I, maybe we think, you know, I've tried to consult with other people and it has not reached a level that is described in those quotations. I think most of us feel that way, right? And so uh, what I just wanted to mention is, you know, I think that it's this is aspirational in a lot of ways, right? We're all trying and we're sure we're far away from the ideal that's set forth in these writings. But every time we try, we learn more and we get better at it. And I've also found in my own experience that if we even apply one or two of the aspects that are mentioned about consultation in the writings, it greatly improves our experience and the outcome. So even if you just apply one or two things it, from these, these teachings, it will also help. So I would love to hear about your experiences with consultation. And I wanted to share with you also a couple more resources. If you are looking for more of these quotations about consultation, you can just um, put into a search engine consultation and Baha'i.org and you will come to a, a page on the Baha'i.org website that has a wonderful compilation of quotes. Another book that's out there, been out there for a few decades, I think, is called Consultation. It's by John Colstow. His last name is K-O-L-S-T-O-E. And that's a very wonderful, kind of succinct, high-level overview of some of the, the principles of consultation. Um, last time I shared with you um, this book, too, Transformed by Bill and Jean Harley, who happened to be my parents. They wrote th that book about consultation. That's a deeper dive into consultation and how they've, they've applied the principles of consultation in their personal lives and in their, their uh, marriage their family, and also in their work with groups and with couples as uh, 
organizational development consultants, coaches, and therapists. And they also even talk about like, how can you consult with yourself? Which is really interesting. So that's another great resource. And last but certainly not least is this wonderful, wonderful unit two of book 10 in the um, Ruhi Institute series of courses. The 10th course, book 10, the whole second unit is devoted to exploring consultation. And it is awesome. It is a wonderful, wonderful exploration. So highly recommend all those resources. Would love to hear if you have a favorite resource or something that's been helpful to you. And I wish you all the best with your efforts to bring consultation into your lives and communities.